Three suspects are still on the loose. A woman remains in the hospital this more than a week after a mass shooting on East Colfax. In all, there were six people shot. One of them died at the scene. Denver police say their gunshot detecting technology worked in this case and allowed officers to start heading to the scene before 911 calls came in. And they say the system got them help there faster. Nine News reporter Cole Sullivan is here with more on this technology. We hear about this technology. We often don't think about the price tag and it, it's not cheap. Yeah, it's not cheap at all, Kim. Denver police spent nearly $5 million this year to renew the shot spotter contract. It leads to hundreds of alerts officers respond to every month. And it also leads to criticism that it targets black and brown neighborhoods. But Denver police say the shooting last week shows the system's worth. Surveillance footage shows the suspects pull up, get out of their car, and start shooting. There's no sound on this video, but it was the echoing crack of gunfire that triggered the Denver police response. So there was a 911 call that, uh, that was placed in relation to that specific incident, but officers were actually already on the way because of the uh, alert from shot spotter. Chief Ron Thomas says last week's deadly shooting on East Colfax shows the shot spotter technology working. It detects gunshot sounds, triangulates the location, and sends an alert to officers, in this case, before anyone could call 911. When we do get a 911 call, often that call is not very exact. DPD has used the technology for six years and just renewed the contract for 14 square miles of coverage. It comes with cost, $4.7 million, and controversy over where police deploy it. While it's uh, it, it may be true that it's um, that this technology is employed in primarily uh, minority uh, neighborhoods. That's where the violence is occurring, unfortunately. And so I think uh, it is prudent for us to to follow the data and put the technology where it's going to be most helpful. Thomas says there's more benefit than false alarms and dead ends. He says shot spotter leads to arrests and evidence collection. In the shooting on Colfax, it meant help could get to the victims faster minutes, seconds count. And so the fact that we were able to be on the way before that uh, call was even placed, I think was helpful. The chief would not tell us any updates on the investigation into that shooting. He also wouldn't tell us what this device looks like or where exactly all these nodes are because they're worried that some folks may target them or change their behavior as a result of that. The city's contract for this technology extends to 2027 now. The chief says more neighborhoods want it, but it's so expensive. So Kim and Tommy says he wants to focus it on the neighborhoods where the data shows it's most needed. Hmm. I, you see all sides to this, and there are a lot of questions and controversy, but if you're going to help people and potentially save a life, you definitely understand. Right. Doesn't and necessarily solve a crime, though. It doesn't, doesn't solve a crime. It doesn't prevent a crime, but it might be a way to get officers to the scene of a shooting faster. The catch to that, of course, is that not all these calls they get are for shootings. Sometimes their car backfires or things like that that sometimes uh. get mistaken, and officers still have to use those resources to go to the scene to check it out because of this. Well, we'll see as, as it continues to play out, but this is one case that people are continuing to follow, and we certainly await any updates on the investigation into who actually did the shooting last week. Yeah, those three suspects, and you see that video too, they're still looking for them. Hard to see. All right, thank you, Cole.